WTFNN. Headline News Update. Well, we're starting a, a bit of a pullback. It's kind of real tough to see how deep the water is on this, although uh, you could almost make it a black hole. Uh, some of the numbers I have say that we could hit 3,800 by Friday on the S&P cash or down in that area. I, I don't, I'm not thinking that's a high priority. I think probably one in 10. Uh, 3,900, probably a much better number for a target. And why we might get that, uh, we might have a little bit of a bounce coming in tomorrow. Uh, we're starting to see at least some of those trend numbers that I like to look at uh, coming uh, down into the lower uh, oversold levels. Uh, but uh, especially during options expiration week, it's not uh, uncommon to see uh, the Wednesday if it's down to see the Thursday up a little bit and then see the Friday back down uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, conj uh, yeah, what is it uh, conniving going on uh, as uh, options expire and they want to push them around a little bit uh, of course the other thing would be to check are we getting kind of the volume that we're talking about or looking about and at least uh, so far today, let me find it here, uh, it is uh, fairly light, about 6.3 billion shares. So the first thing we have to do is test yesterday's low in the SPIs or in the S&P, whichever one you want to look at. Uh, that's just a hair lower. Uh, what is that, like uh, 9, excuse me, 394, I'll have to... Think about it, 394 and a half, I think, somewhere around in there. So we're only about uh, a buck above that on the spies. And, uh, you know, maybe a tenth of a percent lower in the S&P 500 uh, to test out. So if we don't break this, lay, uh, we don't break this uh, kind of 395 area on the spies, uh, figure that we're probably headed down one more tick. Uh, tonight, We'll be uh, talking on the show about Cisco and, of course, uh, Target and Lowe's earnings today. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand.